YouTube they were going to finally show you um, our car. Buzz, he has a name. His name is Buzz Lightyear! <laughs> Let's go. So, this is a van, it is under two meters because we wanted to fit in any parking place. So that's why it's quite slow. And up here we have some solar panels. Um, but let's start the tour from the inside. In the driving front, we can drive with three people in total, which is a little bit sucky because most of the times we are four. But hey, <laughs> you cannot have everything. And here is the living area. Here is the washing basin. Here is the toilet. Here is our dining room uh, <laughs> and the only table we have. And here we sit, here we cook. And here is our bed, which can be unfolded and then we will lie over this area but this is something Christian will show you how everything works and for example for the kitchen we have over here all the kitchen the cutlery everything we need for the kitchen and here like pepper, salt and down here we have pans, pots and this is our stove, which is a gas stove, which works with this gas cans, right? So you put them in here, like this one in here. And then we can cook one pot, one pan at a time. Of course, we try to cook outside because it is with gas. And if we cook in here, you have the fat and the, the water steam every, everywhere, so it's better to cook outside. From the solar panels you saw up there, we have the charging battery down here. I don't know if you can see it well. We can charge phones, laptops, uh, cameras, whatever we need. And, and here we can close this curtains so during the night we have for some privacy <laughs> exactly <laughs> we can close this in here and back there we can also close those um, windows we will show you when we go to the back part and the small feature here um, is this our lamp so we can choose different colors and then we have the light in here what, that we need. Oh, hello. Okay. And then let's turn this off right now. Let's go to the... Oh, let's show you the toilet. So this is our porta potty toilet. When we want to go to a toilet, we take this lid out, open this lid here, and then um, yes, you basically go to the toilet <laughs> here. This thing is the water source, so you wash the woodies down. <laughs> and oh, some water coming. And over here we have the toilet paper, so you can throw also the toilet paper in the porta potty. So we don't need a separate rubbish bin for that. No, and it lasts us for maximum five days. Yes. So then our goodie tank is full. Usually it's around four days, but that's that's plenty enough. We also have water supply for around four to five days. So and every four to five days we need to go anyways to fill up on fresh water and get rid of our goodies. Right. I'm talking about fresh water and water supply. So here is how we wash our things. Here we open it, and then also for brushing br brushing our teeth. And here we can remove this table part. And here it is the fresh water tank, which is going here up there with the pump to this. And all the dirty water goes into here. 
So we have this dirty water tank because we don't want to contribute to the bad image that the camper have. So we want to go to a place and stay there. And then when we leave, nothing has changed. We, t we, t we take our rubbish with us, we take our dirty water with us, our goodies with us. So nothing changes after <laughs> our stay in the place. Now let's go to the back. This is, is for carrying the bikes. It is quite new, we haven't tried it out. We're very excited about that. And then we can open both doors. And here you see already our curtains. So when we want to have it dark at night, we can close it up, up, up here. And the nice thing is the car is of course made of metal. So most of the things we have are like magnets. So we don't need a fixed solution for anything. That's quite nice. And here we have our wardrobe. So each of us has one box. And here we have water supplies, toilet supplies, glass supplies, to toilet paper, anything we need, we can store it in here, in here. So we have six compartments in total. Uh, and on the side, on the side, we can store also some things. Uh, and this is also pretty new. Oh, this is our last invention. Um, it's a built-in wardrobe slash closet. Right. <laughs> so we didn't really have a lot of storage for like pajamas, a sweater, something you need um, while you are in the car, especially if the weather is like if it's raining. Yeah, let's Different show you areas. guys. Uh, how our car looks if we sleep in there, if we have our couch and if we eat. Okay, um, so this is our usual setup. Uh, normally we have it up, set up like this, so we can cook here, we have place here. So we have like a lot of storage to just put things somewhere. And here we have, uh, so this one is removable technically. And here we have access to our two boxes with typically our clothes. If we want to sleep, we are uh, converted the following way. So there it's, it's a two-step process. Step one, we have this uh, incredibly sophisticated solution for extra support. Um, I'm going to show you my butt now, that's unfortunately <laughs> necessary. But yeah, basically we just have uh, this, this piece of wood back here, which uh, supports our bed. And then also it rests on here and a little bit here on the kitchen top. Yeah, usually we are two people and it's a little bit of a yoga um, <laughs> exercise, but it works even with the door closed. Uh, you just need to know, everybody needs to like know his ropes, so to say. So basically what we do is like two of the three pieces of mattress we have, we put them over here. And just while Christian is showing that, uh, fun fact, this mattress, it is actually a one mattress that we cut with a knife into three pieces. Exactly, and then we can just extend our bed here. There we go. And that's it. So um, our bed is uh, around one meter thirty-five. For us, it's plenty, plenty broad enough. So we have almost one meter forty of, of space. So here you can see there is still some space in here. Yeah, and then you have to like make driver yourself a little bit of extra space by lifting this up. But technically, you can go to the toilet. You just lift at night. This lift up, and then you can go to the toilet. And you don't have to leave your car at night when it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's reverse all of this. If we do have bad weather or we want to like just hang out, have a sofa evening with a movie or something, we can do that as well. We can. Um, also use this table the other way around 
So we have this uh, tiny support here. And then basically what we do, we place our table this way around. There we go. And then here where we store our support, we also have this, this piece of wood, which uh, hopefully I can get out. Yep. And then this thing rests in here. So then there is no space between this, this one and up there. So this exactly. So then, thing. then we have our sofa situation here, and then basically the only thing we need to do is just get these mattresses down here. One like this. There we go. One like this. And we have these as backrests, and another one goes in just as less, and then we have space for the two of us sitting here. That's the sofa, and this is basically uh, the three rooms we have. So we have our dining room, we have our sleeping room, and we have our living room. Wait, we have five. We have a toilet room and then oh, we yeah, have our I kitchen mean, room. We have five. <laughs> we have, okay. So our five five room apartment. There you go. Anything else we have to show? I don't think so. No, I think I that's think it. I think that's technically all. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. And leave us a comment. We would like to hear your opinions and thoughts.